I went off to West Point uh, when I was 17. That's a four year engineering degree. <laughs> four years of fun and uh, challenge. Graduated in 1988. Over the course of the next year, I was trained as an infantry officer and um, also completed ranger school and then was assigned to Aschaffenburg, Germany. The first place that we lived when we were first married was Germany, so we went abroad. I moved from my family and everything familiar to me one week after I was married. In the second year we were living in Germany, he was deployed to Operation Desert Storm and left to go to war. She had sacrificed an enormous amount in the first 12 years of our marriage. I actually left for Desert Storm on Christmas Day. Left my wife in Germany and deployed. James Dusenberry had seen and experienced many things over his stellar military career. But as his family grew, his priorities started to shift. My wife and I had our third child and uh, I had attended a Promise Keepers rally, a, a, a men's Christian event, and I, and I really felt the Lord tugging on my heart that continuing on in Special Forces, as exciting as that was and as challenging as that was, uh, it made being a father and a husband very, very difficult. And so um, I resigned my commission from the Army and went through a recruiting company, and uh, that's how I found the bank. I got to learn banking in Birmingham and then deploy out. My, my first assignment was in Tampa, Florida, and uh, I was a branch manager and then a, a CSM in, in Tampa and then was offered the opportunity to come to Jackson as a city president. He sees leadership in people when they didn't know they could do that. He will teach them, encourage them, and bring them up to a higher level of leadership beyond where they even thought they could go. James meets with his team every other week. They talk about customer relationships. They talk about how they can help each other deepen those relationships. Who can open a door that maybe someone else is having trouble getting open? And to me, that's the one of the unique things about James is he's able to bring the people together all on a common goal of serving customers. It's just a nice balance to have somebody you completely trust as a leader that you can get behind because he'll say, you know, follow me, I'll show the way. And then at the end of the year, you're like, I can't believe we accomplished everything that we accomplished. And it, we couldn't have done it without his leadership. My job is to connect people. People in my community that have needs and people in my organization that have solutions. Because we have phenomenal solutions that are sometimes hard to communicate. But if you can connect somebody with a need with somebody with a solution, it, 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 it is an incredible thing to observe and to be a part of. The benefit of making those connections is no more apparent than in his team's successful support of the STAR Center. The STAR Center is a organization that helps individuals who have, um, I don't want to say disabilities, but different abilities. Um, it was founded here in Jackson. It's a very unique situation where they use um, electronics, all kind of things to assist people to enable them to function on their own and some of them even gain employment. One of the things that we're so proud of and it continues to be a challenge is that we provide services regardless of the individual's ability to pay. Um, that demand continues to be a challenge. We've helped them go from uh, being in debt, about $900,000, to being debt free and in a new facility with new equipment. We've helped them land grants and other opportunities to bring money in to, to, to be debt free and run uh, in the black year in and year out. They're a great organization that's well led. It is James's ability to see the strength and potential in others that allowed a local business owner to get back on his feet. David Blurton is, uh, he's become a dear friend. Uh, when I met him, he was desperate. He really was. You know, when he first came to the bank, I, I, honestly, I wasn't sure we were going to be able to help him. Um, you know, when someone has had a recent bankruptcy, uh, it's hard to offer credit. It's, it is hard to be uh, the one who can help provide that. But um, he had a compelling story. He had a good friend who was an attorney. Um, I got them on the phone with an underwriter, and we were able to, to start a very small credit relationship, which helped him get back on his feet. And from there, it just continued to grow. His business grew, our confidence in David grew in his companies, his assets grew, we grew our lines of credit with them, we started using more treasury services and other depository services. 
Um, from a personal banking standpoint, we're able to take care of him and his family. So we've had a good, uh, good relationship over the last uh, 12, 13 years. Helping David and helping other people like him who've had a difficult time pull themselves up by their bootstraps and continue on a business, I mean, that's, that's what we do. That's the basic value of our company. That philosophy carries over into his family life, where James has used his military experience in Haiti, along with his faith, to bring much needed aid to the orphan children of that devastated island. In Haiti, we came across a pastor who had 35 kids that he was caring for. Those children were living in a 20 by 20 space, stacked three high in bunk beds. The pastor himself was living out in a tent. And James was actually part of that first team that went down to kind of see what was going on and see how we could help. I don't think they knew what, how they were gonna make it to the next day. I think a lot of days, they don't know how they're gonna make it to the next day. And uh, we have steadily helped them build walls to protect them, build buildings for them to sleep in. We've built dormitories for the kids. We've built uh, a school. We've, we've helped get them fresh water. We've put solar power down there so they've got electricity. We're working through two other organizations, um, Mercy and Sharing and Mission of Hope, help provide food for them on a steady basis. Um, and we've basically provided life for them. Uh, we can't fix all of Haiti. We can't fix all of Haiti, but we can hope that these now 30 or 31 kids, when they grow up to be young leaders in Haiti, maybe they can fix Haiti. From serving his country, to caring for his family, to finding ways to support his community, James Dusenberry has shown the willingness to sacrifice and the ability to lead has great value. That value is not lost on James, as he has re-enlisted and is pursuing the rank of chaplain in the Army National Guard. It is a good way for me to blend my values and um, take advantage of the success that I've had in life and uh, apply that where the greatest need is, or apply that where my gifts make a difference. I can, I can apply that in a way that uh, is beneficial to others.